Hey, welcome back to the Morrowind Pacifist Challenge, where we are currently in Ebonheart to finish up the rest of the Imperial Legion questline. Uh, well, as far as we can get, anyways. Right, this is the final Legion garrison for us to explore. Uh, not you. I think it's Frawl the White. That's right. I, I don't know where to mean to rhyme well, that. Here's it's a such an honor to me. Speak freely. Uh, Okay, I need more orders. Give me orders. The buoyant armagers claim we have no courtesy. Sailing Serethi, a buoyant armager at the Tower of Dusk in Ghostgate, claims we have no courtesy. Best him in a duel of wit and poetry. Okay. Um. Sounds easy enough. All right. So the trip to the Ghostgate was. Pretty uneventful, and this guy, if I remember, is in the lower level of the Tower of Dusk. Uh, in one of the, like, bunk rooms. Not you. Oh, well, you know, dark. What do you want? You? Yes, you. you. So what's this about courtesy? The Legion has no courtesy, wit, poetry, or honor. I can see that if can see that we have wit and poetry if we can win a contest of riddles. Oh, I love riddles. I'm totally ready for this. It has a tail, a side, and a head. I call it what I call a snake. It has no body and it is dead. Uh, Drake? Like the coin? We're getting out for the next riddle. Poets know the hearts of men and myrrh. But beasts can't know my heart, you see. This book was written by a bear. It's not a book of poetry? I don't get that one. It rhymes, but that's not like, it's not a riddle. I gave you a sock, not unlike a box, with hammers and nails around it. Two lids open when it knocks. It must have been a great hit? Okay. Like, those were the only answers that made sense, so that was not very difficult. Alright, Frald, I've solved a riddle problem. Middle contest against Salen Serethi. It wasn't really much of a contest, but sure. Uh, got a book? Sure. We also got advancement. Rank of Knight Errant. What else do you have? Find the traitor Hantel. I don't think we can do that. Yeah, no, we definitely can't do this. So, uh, I guess Knight Errant is about as far as we're going to get in the Imperial Legion, which unless I'm missing something, company. which what can I do for you? would not surprise me. Now, as far as factions that we haven't finished, we, we have a couple of factions that we're still pretty low rank in. House Lalu, however, is one that not only are we in a low rank in, I'm pretty sure we could rank up right now. So why don't we go say hi to Uncle Crassius? Alright, do we have an advancement? What? Uh, maybe we need to get our advancement from someone else and then Crassius will talk to us about jobs. Because I know he has them. Welcome, friend. Okay. Trailing back to Balmora and talking to Nolino Dorain has gotten us the rank of Lawman. But now we need to find a sponsor, and I know just the guy. Alright, Crassius, it's the middle of the night, and I am here on an urgent booty- I mean, business call. Bus business. Uh, you want me to be your sponsor? Yes. That you never ask. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah. This game is not shy away from this sort of thing. Great! If only all advancement was this easy. <laughs> oh wow, that's actually good armor. Do we really need the pants though? I mean, they increase our armor rating by one, they weigh a ton. Okay, 18's not too bad, that's not, that's not 30. Uh, what else do we have? Shirt. Yep, gotta have those puffy sleeves. Belt, probably doesn't do anything. Uh, 
Good gloves. And we are looking fabulous. Okay. No, okay, what do you have for me? Speak with Audra Helvey in Caldera. Turn your charms on him, sweetie, and talk about business. Please don't call me that. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, we're, we're basically being an informant. This is inter-house business. Uh, and I believe we could come out on top uh, of all that. That wasn't like a sex joke. That was literally like, we could play our cards right. We'll have like a bunch of rep from this. I'm hoping we can make it up to the, uh, the stronghold quest chain. Because that's a load of quests. And that should give us some serious rep, I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay, we are back in the Caldera Governor's Hall to speak to Aldril Helvey. I hate this place. I always get lost. It's literally just three staircases and I always go up the wrong ones. What do you got for me, bud? You need a courier to deliver a package of sealed orders. Take these orders to the Holly Treasury in Vivek. Deliver them to Tennessee Laundry, the assistant clerk. Whatever you do, do not deliver them to the head of the treasury, Barry Allen. Or to anyone else. Okay, uh, goodbye. Naturally, we are giving the sealed orders immediately to Uncle Crassius. Yep, here they are. 500 gold. Who knew being a spy was so lucrative? Okay, so not that staircase. This staircase. Okay. All right, I have delivered the sealed orders. Great. Uh, do you give me advancement? No, you don't. Okay, what else do you have? Important documents are missing from the offices here in Caldera. You need to find whoever stole the Caldera mining contracts. Someone stole some of the mining contracts which were written on a scroll. Too many thefts recently for it to be an outsider. Someone in town is the thief. Find the thief and return the missing contracts. Okay. What do you know about these Caldera mining contracts, officer? Nessa, Demori, and Ergola. Okay. What do you know about these mining contracts, Ergola? Okay, I will look. Uh, but I also might take. Actually, I won't take because there's a guard right there. Okay, I'm out of here. Alright, Demori. Did you steal those contracts? Oh. Oh, guild business. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm very happy to make this your chest? acquaintance. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Those. Okay. Thanks. Uh, you, you maybe want to turn around, buddy? I, I found them. Okay. So, 500 drakes. We lied. It's not the best reward you could get for this, but also we don't have to murder anybody. Here are some of the documents in the Hall of Records. Replace erroneous documents. Let's go to serious problems some of the land deeds. Take this land deed to the Hall of Records in Vivek. Look for a chest of land deeds in the Escadian Isles. Put the scroll in the chest and bring the old land deed. Oh, okay. This totally sounds legitimate. So if we try to read this land deed, it is sealed. So, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ravo and Arvel has agreed to sell the land south of Arvel Manor and east of Pelagia to Orvest Dren. Agreed to sell the small farm between the land belonging to Dren and Fort Pelagia to Aldra Thelvi. Hmm. I wonder what Ravo and Arvel would like to know about this information. Now, of course, we could give the land deed to Crassius Curio, since he's, you know, our sponsor at all. But. He doesn't really give us anything for the information. Uh, Ravone, on the other hand, just a quick skip and a hop from Vivek uh, moving through the Dren Plantation, you can find the Arvel Plantation. There's not really an easy way here uh, 
You can go the long way over land through Siren, but I usually just swim. Uh, now where is Ravone? No, seriously, where is he? Hanging out here on the dock all along. If this were a Hitman game, you'd be a very easy target. Uh, erroneous document. Bill still interferes with your business. Give, would I like to give you the Forge Land Deep? Hmm. Maybe. What's in it for me? Bring this matter to the Ordinators. Perhaps this will be enough to make them act. But short on Drake's today. I believe you will find this ring is a just compensation. I believe I will, actually, because this... Wherever it is. There it is. Invisibility for 30 seconds on self. That's not bad. Uh, how, how much does this have? Yeah, that's a decent amount of charge. That's like... Five uses? I could, I could certainly see five uses of invisibility coming in very, very handy in the near future. Oh, wow. Uh, Crassius has seen fit to give us the rank of house cousin just for our business with Eldrol Helvi. Can we go any higher? No, okay. Uh, can I ask you about... No. Huh. That's a problem. How do I... I know where I need to go, because you can't exactly swap out the land deeds without the fake land deed, but we also can't return empty-handed. Uh, I, I guess we could just steal the, uh, the real one, and then I hope we don't get in trouble for it, but th there's a way to get a forgery, and I forget how you find out about that. I think if you go to Crassius first, He'll just automatically take the fake land deed and tell you how to get a new one. But, since we got the ring, we can't do that. So, a quick trip to the Lalu Treasury. We and we just need to find Barry Allen. Is there something the fastest man alive. I can spare a few moments. Praise Vivek. A warm welcome to you. There you are. Uh, I'd like to ask you if you could forge some erroneous documents for me. Crassius has told me enough of what or draw- How? I haven't- I wasn't even able to tell Crassius about this. I'd be satisfied unless he has the original land deed. Perhaps he'd like to make a copy. Yes, I would. There we go. Okay, here is the totally real land deed that I stole. Great. Alright. We got a bunch of spells. What's next? Puzzle for land in the Skating Isles at this time of year. Need to collect the rent and taxes from the farmers. Okay. Two farmers want to speak with Minot, Vernon Ada, and Lillian Avandis. Andis. 50 drinks from each of them in return. They refuse to pay. Kill them to set an example for others. That seems a little extreme. I don't know if we're gonna go that far. I don't... You might not have noticed, but there's a little thing at the top of the video that says this is a pacifist challenge run. Uh, lives just east of the Arville Plantation. Just west of the Dren Plantation. Uh, I was just there a minute ago. You couldn't have asked me to do this earlier, huh? Of course, he didn't know we were just there. I, I suppose I shouldn't be speaking out loud. Now, if we tell our Hlalu representation about this escalation in the taxation, uh, he's gonna give us 500 gold, which is nice. Uh, it's possible to double dip by getting the gold from Gracias and then trying to get gold from the farmers. They don't have any gold. Uh, they give you a guar as collateral, and then you can go and escort that guar to a guar farm. I suppose that would be a ranch. And sell it for another 500. But now that I think about it, that just sounds like a really risky proposition, considering we can't actually defend it in any meaningful capacity. If that Gwar gets in a fight, it's a fight to the death. Even if we try to pacify or go invisible, the Gwar is going to keep fighting, even if the enemy doesn't, and which is going to just cause the enemy to go off of... So yeah, no, we're not doing that. 
It's a bad idea. Okay, here is 50 gold in rent. Alright. So, I don't think he's happy about that. Because he wanted us to kill him. Because he's a jerk, but, you know. His disposition didn't change at all. I guess we're just that good. All right now we need to deliver a shipment of ebony to a friend. Okay. Take these five pieces to Drinar Varian in Aldruid. Deliver them to friends on the mainland. Do not speak of this to anyone. Okay. Easy enough. So we could actually smuggle this ebony and we'll get some gold for it. We could also report to Crassius, but he's just going to tell us that we should report this to the authorities. So why don't we head over to the local fort? Alright, so Sigunuvius here is who we're supposed to be giving this ebony to. Uh, but I'm going to pull what's called a pro gamer move. If we pick up four of this ebony and drop it on this bench here. Can we just turn in one piece of ebony as evidence of smuggling? Uh, Ordral Helvi ordered me to deliver this ebony to Drunar Varian in Aldrun. Alright, here you go. Some men to investigate. They can confirm the story. Have both of them arrested. Okay, cool. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna pick this back up. Alright. Time to tell Crassius about how we took the initiative and got Odril arrested. I'm sure he'll be very pleased. Yes, he is. And we got some pretty neat loot to boot. Uh, that plus the gold from selling the four remaining ebony, that's not too bad. Uh, that is the last of the corruption in Caldera subplot, however. Uh, we are not skilled enough to advance. That sucks. But, next week, we're gonna go take on a dangerous criminal, Velfred the Outlaw. A man who is smuggling for the Sixth House cult itself. Uh, this guy's no joke. Uh, not an easy fight. Uh, hopefully we won't have to actually fight him, though. So, tune in next week to find out. Mm -hmm.